Hey guys, how's it going? My name is always and welcome back to Cave Story. In the last episode, we got back to Mamingma Village. Um, we lost Curly along the way. She got swept away in the waterway, but I'm sure she's okay. Uh, and we came back here. We talked to Professor Booster, who gave us the Booster 2.0. And now we can fly around and all that kind of stuff. And it's really kind of neat. Uh, it's really useful. Um, and yeah, the Mimigmas are gone, so we need to figure out where they're at. Uh, so let's head in here and check the text is displayed on screen. Teleport to Egg Corridor. Cosmo. Okay. Uh, but before we do, was there anything else? There was, yes, in the labyrinth? Let's go to the labyrinth real quick, because um, I think there was here there was something here that we missed. Uh, and luckily, we're uh, basically where we made the jump. Uh, this is the place that if we miss this jump, okay, so it's just this stuff. Okay, um, I have to remember it's been a while since I played the late game of this game, because uh, we are technically pretty pretty close to the end. Um, there's a couple things I'm not entirely sure. And I want to make sure that we grab everything. Like, I, I'm not quite remembering if we have everything so far. Or if there's any backtracking we need to do. Other than getting this amazing weapon. The spur. Uh, so... Actually, there is one thing. Uh, can we do it right now? I think we can. Let's go back to the labyrinth. Uh, and let's see if we can do that. It, otherwise, it's gonna be a little bit of a waste of time, not a big deal. Um, so, we just head back this direction. And we can use this against some stronger enemies. Uh, the nice thing about this, the spur is it does not require any... Uh, doesn't require any experience whatsoever because you just replenish it. Uh, everything? No, not everything. Let's try to max out everything else. Um... And... Yeah, we're gonna go back to the shop with the, uh... Uh, with the, the one guys. The... The guy that tried to sell us the snake. Um, we're gonna go see them, because I believe they'll give us something. Um, but... Let's just kill these guys best we can. And that's maxed out. Awesome. So, uh, I don't know if this is doable at this point. I don't remember. So apologies if it's not, but I hope it is. Uh, that way this is, this isn't that much of a wasted trip. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, and what it gives you isn't that good, but it's, it's good enough. So the nice thing is, because we have, ow, uh, the jetpack, we can kind of skip things a little bit. But we're already here, so, actually, are we? No, this is the clinic. Um, Curly's not here. Oh, but there is that treasure chest to get. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that as well. That that was right. We can't get that until... So backtracking was good. Um, there is one other area that I want to go to. And just because of the pathing... Uh, this is gonna be just fine to do. At least, uh, I don't know if you can get that treasure beforehand. Um, I just couldn't, so. Let's come in here and we're gonna talk to the shopkeep. Uh, hi, this is Labyrinth Shop. Unfortunately, a burglar broke in recently and took everything, so I don't have anything to sell you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ah, look, I'll give you this. A Tame the Whimsical Star. Uh, well, now, it's more like a decoration. 
Uh, that's about all I can offer since you're already in possession of an ultimate weapon. So, if you don't take the snake, you get the spur. Uh, you can get the whimsical star from the guy. And uh, it does a little bit of damage. Uh, but as you see, it's just some stars that kind of whirl around you uh, when you're charging your weapon. Uh, specifically the spur. I don't think it works with any other weapon. And... I guess it does. Okay. Um, but I think it goes away after a bit. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's the Whimsical Star. It's more of a decoration. It doesn't really do much damage. But it's cool. Uh, it's a little bit. So... Let's come up here. Yeah, because I don't think you can make that jump. But with the jetpack, you can. So come in here, and we have Missile Upgrade. No, the Arms Barrier. Ooh, this is a really good item. Um, let's see, let's look at it. Uh, Chaba is that guy's name. Unequip it. You can unequip it if you don't like it. Weapon energy loss from sustaining damage is halved. So that is what the Arms Barrier is. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier not to, to lose weapon levels, which will come in handy later. Um, I'm gonna be honest, when we get to the end of the game, uh, the final boss, who you might be able to guess, uh, the name of, but, unless you, I mean, obviously if you've already played the game, you know who the final boss is, but, uh, the final boss is very difficult, and there is a, kind of a method to kill him, that is pretty, pretty dangerous. Uh, I will be honest, the last area of the game, the... The special area for getting the good, the best ending is very difficult. Um, so hopefully, when we get to that point in the game, uh, it doesn't take me too long to record it. Uh, that is an actual concern I've been having. Uh, this game isn't that difficult. It's it's challenging at times, and it gets more challenging at the end of the game. Uh, early on, when you're when you don't have much. Uh, much weaponry or anything like that it's mostly just a like take your time and you'll be fine type type of situation but here soon we're gonna come up to some of the hardest enemies and some of the hardest um platforming uh areas are gonna change because we are getting the good ending um they I, they've already started to but they're gonna change more so not enough of that um you'll see as we go along and i'll kind of point out what differences i know of uh, but we need to go to the Egg Corridor. And in this episode, we can actually get the bad ending. Alright, so there was a violent explosion all of a sudden. Everything was like this after I came back around. What the heck is going on? Um, well, it looks like there's a bunch of dead dragons. Carcass of a flying dragon. Uh-oh. Um, so this is one of those areas that it's going to be challenging. A lot of dead dragons. Uh, I wonder if any of them are alive. <laughs> foreshadowing. Um, not really foreshadowing when I know, but, well, I guess it is for you guys, but <laughs> anyways. I know the plot. Oh, I hate the enemies hiding behind. Uh, so, this isn't too bad. There is, there is a dragon. The dragon's going to attack us. Um, but the Dragon is also holding max missiles. So missile increases are always good for me. Um, we have to go up above. And something to be aware of is... Uh, there is falling spikes at this point in the game. Uh, they are not super obvious. And looks like we have to go in here. They lose a bolt, bowed. Question marks. Uh, this is a nasty little area. Ow. Luckily, these aren't the, like, permadeath uh, spikes, but those uh, flop type enemies are very deadly. The dragons that are attacking us aren't that bad. Uh, and then this is an interesting enemy. It's a bomb. 
and it's a pretty pretty deadly bomb. Uh, it's got a decent blast radius. Uh, I'll see if we can't see it. Uh, I think there's another one. It's been a while since I've been here, so let's kill the dragons. That one falls. These guys fall, and the big one falls. You can destroy the the bigger ones after they've fallen. So that's taken care of, and time to go to the save room. Egg observation room. <sighs> if this doesn't look like a trap, I don't know what does. So open the chest and max missile increase. If you take this, cold breeze bro blows through. You fight the sisters. Uh, they're actually not that bad. Uh, so they just fly around and you need to uh, shoot them before they start breathing fire. Otherwise, you'll have a bad time. That's also the only time you can hit them. Oh, come on. There we go, there's a little bit of damage to that one. Uh, they share a health bar, so it's not a problem. And there they go. Sisters are defeated. So I think you can skip the sisters. I'm not entirely sure. I've never done it because it's much more profitable just to go ahead and do that. Just so you can get the save. And a corridor tries to kill you immediately when you come out. So there's not much left. We're at number two. Ow. We're also almost dead. Uh, the sisters are a much powerful version of these flying dragons. And hey, look, the computer terminal uh, from egg number one, which uh, turned on the, uh, the the security stuff. I don't think there's anything over there. Uh, it would have been cool if there was. But uh, let's go into the save room. And we can heal and save... So this is the point in the game where you can take the bad ending. Um, I'm going to do it just to show you guys what it is, and yeah, it might make the episode a little bit short, but um, and then I'll just restart, restart it, and it will load me up from here. So yeah, the egg is gone. Uh, text appears on screen. Incubation successful. Who's over there? Oh hey, where did he come from? Oh, it's you. I didn't know if you were safe or not. I'm the only person here. After you took off to Sand Zone, we sped up preparations for securing an escape. It was then that the, that misery showed up. Sue was taken away, and Professor Booster, he disappeared somewhere. The doctor has apparently acquired the flower seeds, but I'm not blaming you. The doctor's victory was certain from the moment he acquired the demon crown. It's only a matter of time before his Mimigma army is ready to attack the surface. If that does happen, it will be futile to defeat the Doctor, even for you. You have no choice but to run from this place. Anyways, an escape is possible, but only by using a flying dragon. That's why I came here all on my own, for the flying dra dragon that I need hatched safely. So this one hatched perfectly. The others were flawed. And this is the choice. The correct answer is no. But if we say yes, I know, it can't be helped. You did your best. Um, by the way, we knew about this door all along. There was a cold breeze coming through this. And this is the bad ending. Also, the best music in the game, in my opinion. Uh, it's actually really really fitting music for kind of the story um this is the moment where you choose to fight or flee and yeah let's go ahead and escape uh get on so Kazuma and our hero hold on tight escape on a flying dragon running away from the battle uh Kazuma was always a coward 
Uh, and that was how you and Cosmo safely escaped from the island. Soon after, the Doctor would use the island as his flying fortress and strike the surface Were the countries of the surface able to withstand the Doctor's relentless attacks? That doesn't really matter. You ran away from the battle. After escaping, you and Cosmo lived, in a, humble, lived a humble life, hidden deep within the safe confines of the mountains. And out of the Doctor's reach. So, this is the bad ending. In question mark. Because ultimately, you didn't do anything to stop anything. But that's a terrible ending. Um, I think I have to escape to the main menu. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so it's one of those things of... You could have stayed and fought. You tried. Is it better to stay and fight or is it better to flee and save your life? Uh, in this situation, since we can... We can definitely defeat the Doctor. It's better. So, uh, that is the bad ending. Let's go ahead and quit back to the main menu. And we can start up again, and we're right back here. So, let's see what happens when we say no. Uh, by the way, I think you can see cold breeze blows through. Yeah, the door is always there. Uh, you just can't get through it until this scene. So, same thing. Um, didn't know if you were safe or not. Yep, yep, yep. After you took off to the sand zone, we spent up preparations. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so, uh, the bad ending is, like, it's actually, it's it's a really good ending story-wise. Uh, it's fitting. The characters, Kazuma is kind of portrayed throughout this game as a bit of a coward. Um, and pessimist. So, him running away isn't, isn't surprising at all. Uh, but... We need to continue on, so let's go ahead and see what happens when we say, want to escape with me? No. I see. Truth be told, there is one way you can change the Mimigma back into their original state. Destroy the island's core. But the island may collapse if you do, so, if you do destroy the core. We tried to. Is it too dangerous a choice for you to make? Either way, I don't know where to find the core. If you really want to try and do it, then I'll wait for you. But I may need to flee the island at any time if it gets too dangerous for me. So, he's not a bad guy. Uh, he may be a coward, but he's not a bad guy. He will wait as long as possible. Um, so now we can come out here and enjoy the music. And... The Sky Dragon. Uh, if you're looking for the core, then you need to really hurry it up. So, this is the edge of the island, um, which is kind of interesting. Uh, there is also a door down there. We will look at that in the next episode. So, um, this is the start of this is the start of the end. Uh, this is the turning point of the story. There's not much left. Um, there's a decent amount, but not much. So we're going to continue in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!